So guys, yeah, welcome to my channel today. Let's talk about why most ICOs will fail. Now we're talking about marketing. Well, let's let's it's it's a very wrong word to let's say it might be a wrong word to say many ICOs, but let's say why many companies in the blockchain space will fail. I see just the way okay, we want to raise money for something. Why many of them will fail? Then we we'll talk about uh, we we'll talk about their business relationships and all that. We're talking about marketing. Why many of them will fail? Marketing. You see, it's not wrong if uh, a platform cont uh, contact uh, a YouTuber to actually promote um, their platform. Maybe to make people aware so that people can actually. Now, people should get things right. When a platform contacts a YouTuber to actually promote a platform, uh, to actually uh, promote or raise an awareness about the platform, there is nothing wrong. It is to spread the word out. It is when the YouTuber says, hey, all my followers, get into this platform. This one, if you miss this one, you'll be very sorry for yourself. That is when things get messy. So, people use a uh, uh, line ingesting, someone like um, someone like Gary Vaynerchuk is in the realm of um, digital marketing. He promotes stuff and all that, right? Now, if a platform wants to use a YouTuber to promote a platform, there is nothing wrong. So people in the online space, there's nothing wrong. Now, here is where things get messy. They use YouTube, good, to promote, to raise awareness. And then there is a platform called n.com. It's a very good platform where people can actually sign up with their email. And then they could get, um, if a platform wants to raise an ICU or to raise an awareness for all that, they contact n.com and n.com will be the one to send messages to people. There are people who could get receive such reports. I'll cover it in my next video for one dollar. Then they could maybe raise an awareness about the product, join the Telegram group, and all that. All these are uh, pre ICO, um, pre ICO stops. And then the next thing that should be considered is the post-ICO marketing. So what is the pre-ICO pre -ICO marketing? Pre-ICO marketing is basically everything that is being done. Everything that is done from Facebook ads, YouTube ads, to uh, paying uh, YouTubers to promote the platform, to offline and online without posters or whatsoever, without going on TV, without being, showing yourself on uh, Wall Street and all that, whatever is being done before the ICO actually takes place or during the ICO taking place it's called pre-ICO marketing now here is where things get mercy what many platforms don't do is post ICO marketing listen everybody I don't know how I don't know the current I don't know the current statistics of people who are in the cryptocurrency space now but one of the things I do know is that 90% of the people who are in the cryptocurrency space who have one investment in order and other are there just for the money. There are there are few people who are saying, well, sort is a platform. Let's use sort. There are just few of them. So there is no marketing after the ICO. If a platform wants to succeed after the ICO, you will have to keep awareness the way you got awareness. There is nothing wrong. You go online, for example. Who are the uh, some of the uh, let's say some popular YouTubers? So you can see some of the popular YouTubers, PewDiePie, Jenna Marbles, and all that. If you go there, 
spend some money and contact a platform like this they will spread the word imagine um i think there was a lady called ellen i can't really know i can't really yeah ellen dina grace she 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 uh, is here is someone who is It's Friday, February 16th. I have some awesome news on the crypto front. Uh, Ellen, did So there is a lady who came. She's a TV personality. And she just came in. She was explaining, not, not in depth. Now you can see what is there. Ellen just introduced Bitcoin to 3 million users. Right? So what most people fail to realize is that if cryptocurrencies are to succeed, People, we have to talk about it. it. Why is many people having a negative perception about cryptocurrencies? It's because the only people who are talking about the cryptocurrencies are people like the news, the media, the traditional media, and they're talking about it in a negative light. So, if many of these ICOs, let's go to ICO drops. Many of these ICOs, they contact people who are not even in the blockchain space. And then they contact them from one thing or the other and say, okay, um, well, let's, let's pick a random platform. In Shopa, not only in Shopa, we have um, CR coin. If we have a platform like Siakon one day or Golem or Stosh goes using a YouTuber that is not in the cryptocurrency space now and says come up sign uh, 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 and gives all the explanation about not technical explanation about how everything works but just one minute introduction about blockchain uh sci uh, coin how people can actually use second cheaper faster and all that this is not a someone like uh someone like some is someone like pewdiepie or just youtube but it's not in the crypto space and spread the word out people will become interested with cryptocurrency and all that so that is one of the reasons so there is no marketing after the ico so maybe there is ico it team just dies down after the ICO, the team just died. Uh, so there is no, there is little to no marketing after IC, uh, after the ICO. Now, you might say there is, uh, there are platforms that are doing things like roadshow. Yeah, there are many platforms that are going to Bitcoin conference, uh, one blockchain conference, and the other. Listen, those are very, very good. Though. Those are very, very good. But one of the things you have to know, you have to do that, and then you have to go beyond that. There are people who know nothing about blockchain so why is everybody going up to cryptocurrencies uh, uh crypto let's take for example let's go example this is a shush sorry to use this i'm not using religion the church for example if you are a, a pastor or a christian and you want to preach to people you can you have the option to go to preach to people in the church or to go outside one of the things you have to know is that not every person will be in the church i don't want to be religious i just i just want to use this to to drive the point home why you are being invited from one church you're good you're invited to this church you then the next time you invited the nations very good very very good very good but one of the things you have to go beyond that there are people who will never step their foot in church in the church there are people who for one thing or the other maybe because of work or they don't believe in all that you have to go and meet them so if cryptocurrency is to succeed all these road shows very good very good go beyond the road shows Start, start attending. You're talking about uh, a platform like Electronium attending the uh, the Mobile World Conference. 
Mobile World Congress. You go there. If I like that, you go there. These are not people who have actually adopted blockchain. You go there. Please, places like uh, World Economic Forum. You go there. Little meetups that are there, maybe business meetup, Africa business uh, forum, this and that. You go there. Then people start to ask, ah, what is, what is your platform? So I go, ah, what is, uh, uh, blockchain? You start explaining to them. They start big interest, and before you look, the platform is increasing. But when everybody sits down. And everybody is struggling for the people who are in the space who are not even using cryptocurrencies. Yeah, who are not even using any of these platforms. When you talk about CI coin, they are not using CI coin. And there are people who are in the outside world who can use these platforms. So they have to be post IC, they have to go beyond all these blockchain conferences if they will have to succeed. So I hope maybe uh, this video gets to. Um, the people who are doing ICOs so that they may learn on how to actually go about their business. So guys, do have a very good day.